I say it, I say it again, you've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on muck. This is what he does. Enough is enough. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Everybody strap in. About to open some fucking windows. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Jerry Jones has done it again. Jerry freaking Jones has been cray cray at getting people to talk this is insane i'm thinking that all of this is about the 49ers i think that this is what this is all about i think jerry jones is trying to make a shit storm because the 49 he's having a tenter tantrum right now because the 49ers are in the super bowl they got a chance to get more Super Bowl victories than the Dallas Cowboys. And I think that's why Jerry Jones is going cray cray with doing all of these interviews. He's literally pulling people out. I'm expecting to see, is Don Shula still alive? Is Don Shula still alive? Because he'll get an interview. Jim Mora, Jim Mora, you're next. You're next. Because it seems like Jerry Jones has a certain type of, of, of coaching, coach that he's looking for. You've got to be over 60, okay? You've got to be over 60. You must be unemployed, preferably multiple years. Multiple, multiple years are better. This is why I don't think Ron Rivera gets a chance because he just got fired. So you have to have been a head coach someplace else. And I'm going to say I'm sick of this shit. I am sick of it. I am tired of it. This is insane what we are going through right now as Cowboy fans. Jerry Jones, you are killing me. You're killing me, bro. This is insane what we are doing right now. All right. Let's see if we have this right now. Because I was trying to do some work here. I'm back in the red brick house. You can see how bright it is. It's not like my man cave really looks like a cave. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this is the man loft. Is that it? The man loft? Because we're upstairs. We're not in the basement. We're not in our mama's basement. We're upstairs at the Dallas Cowboy Fan Cave. Oh, excuse me. Let me say Dallas Cowboy Fan Cave right there with our raid spray that we need. Uh, uh, Bella, I need one with the 49ers. I need a 49er one because they are literally coming in thick right now. All right, so... Here's what we've got today. We've heard now that Wink Martindale is now been, been talked to. He's been talked to as well. So if you've got a scorecard, we had Aiden Durden, who was our defensive line coach. They spoke with him. They were interested in speaking with Joe Witt, but Joe Witt went with Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn basically said, you know, you got to have a sense of urgency and try and win right now because next year and the year after aren't guaranteed. So looking to the future, Stephen Jones is stupid. I, he didn't use the word stupid, but we can apply and here on YouTube, we can fill in the blanks. They wanted to talk to our tight end coach, Wells. But the Cowboys basically said, no, we're not going to let you get any more of our coaches. They locked it down and denied them the opportunity to talk to Wells. Wells, who's done an incredible job with Fergalicious, as well as even Peyton Hendershot his first year. Hopefully Peyton Hendershot, with the injuries that he has, he comes back better working with Wells. He will be here. Now, there's no word if they also shut down Al Harris. This is one that I'm really and truly interested in. If Al Harris may go with Dan Quinn, or if they shut, if they lock that down too and won't allow them to take that. Because here's the problem for us as Cowboy fans, okay? We are losing. We have constantly been bleeding since the end of the playoffs. It is February 7th. This is a month that's two days shorter than most. There's only 29 days, which means there's only 22 days until March. 
add on 11 more days. That means 33 days from now is the beginning of legal tampering. We don't know who the defensive coordinator is. We don't know who the assistants are going to be. We don't even know what defense we're going to run. And we have 16 free agents, including a Stefan Gilmore, excluding a Navelle Gallimore, the Canadian bulldozer, including Dorrance Armstrong, including Dante Fowler. So now we need to figure out who fits the scheme that we have with the players that we have once we finally hire a coach. We're now talking with Wink Martindale. This week is almost over. Tomorrow's already Thursday. The leader, I believe, is Mike Zimmer. Because Mike Zimmer is familiar with the Cowboys. He's been used to a sea change. He, he knows the Joneses. He was here back in the Super Bowl days and went through the bad days. So you could look at him and say, that's a guy Jerry would be comfortable with. And he's over 60. He's been unemployed for several years. And um, he needs a tan. But you throw in Rex Ryan, which, of course, now here we go with ESPN. Let, let's take a look at what they got to say about it. The Dallas Cowboys did have a conversation with Rex Ryan about their defensive coordinator job. He insists it was not an interview, but he did speak to them about their opening. We'll see whether anything comes of this. Rex has spoken with other teams in the past, spoke with Denver last year about becoming defensive coordinator. But I can tell you this, Laura, he loves working at ESPN. He doesn't want to leave all of us unless it's the right job at the right time with maybe most important, the right price. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to, um, you know, have, have be in a position to... <laughs> what was that? All right. Anyway, d I want to start with you here. What do you think about the fit of Rex Ryan with the Cowboys as their D.C.? Well, Laura, first of all, I don't want Rex to go anywhere at ESPN because that's my guy right there. But as far as, a, like, defense of mind and, and, and fit in, in Dallas... You wouldn't, you wouldn't find any better than Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan was, in my opinion, one of the preeminent defensive minds that we've seen. And the thing that I love about this fit is, is twofold. Number one, he's a former head coach, so Mike McCarthy wouldn't have to worry about that side of the ball. But more importantly, Rex knows how to use the pieces that are available to him. The Dallas Cowboys have a ton of really good man-to-man -man corners. That's what Rex Ryan did a lot with the Jets. Played a lot of man-to-man, -man, simulated pressures. Kind of like what you saw in Baltimore this past year. But Rex mm -hmm. is the, the ultimate, he's the ultimate guy at running that scheme. So I think Rex would be a great fit in Dallas, but I want Rex to stay at ESPN. Yeah, I, we all love Rex. I think the really interesting part about this is there's no question Dallas on defense needs an identity. Yeah. I mean, Dallas as a whole needs an identity. They need an edge. Their players openly speak about that, that they don't have that get after it dominant mentality. Maybe Demarcus Lawrence does and, and Micah Parsons at times, but I don't know if it's to their core who they, who they are or who they want to be. Rex Ryan would bring that. And I also think this is what's interesting for me about it, Wood. We are in a time in the NFL right now. It's 2023-24. Football in the league is going to start to look like it did in the like late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. And you're going to have to have a mm -hmm. defensive coordinator, at least mind-wise, that knows what that style of ball was. Rex certainly did. He's got many stops where his defenses were top 10 in the NFL. Injuries That's were a little bit part of that. And in 15 and 16 with Buffalo. But there's an identity to Rex that is not only, like, needed in Dallas, but I think is something that, you know, could at least allow them to start to think about getting over that hump. <laughs> yeah, this league is so cyclical. You see things yes. that were in style just a few years ago. They come mm -hmm. right back around. And uh, listen, though, Rex has always been in style. We love Rex. We hope well. he stays with us. Okay, so there's that. Take what you will from that. Well, all I'm saying is, is this, I don't care. I don't care who you hire. Just hurry up and get it done and get to work. Because 
I honestly feel like this is just let's get a you know let's get a name let's get a name let's get a name and we'll throw this up on the wall we'll get people talking about it and everything else because in the end it doesn't matter we're gonna get paid regardless and we keep recycling old guys the same way we keep recycling older players the cycle just doesn't seem to end good people I guess it is what it is. Hope you are having a great hump day and you're getting over the hump. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm going to hump on out of here.